A live look at Palm Beach International Airport as the former president returns to our area for the first time since that attempted assassination attempt a week ago today. Supporters lined up along Southern Boulevard tonight to welcome home the Republican presidential nominee. They gathered near the Publix there, a route Mr. Trump is expected to take on his way to Mar-a-Lago. WPTV's Cassandra Garcia has been in position along Southern all night awaiting the former president's plane and then convoy to come by. She joins us now with the latest. Cassandra. Yes, John, we're staged right outside the Publix on Southern Boulevard. People are slowly starting to clear out now because just moments ago, we saw Trump by, come by in that motorcade. Plenty of people showing their support. Now, we started seeing these people line up as early as 7.15 to welcome Trump home. Now, lots of added security is the main thing we were seeing. And this is likely something we're going to see going forward. Trump supporters line the streets of Southern Boulevard, celebrating his return to Palm Beach Saturday evening. Among them was supporter Bobby Francis. From the moment he stepped on that escalator down Trump Tower in 2015, I said to everybody, there's our next president. Francis says he attends just about every Trump rally in South Florida, but this one hits differently. The man loves our country, and I've never cried since JFK died, I'm that old, um, for a politician. But when I saw him on the ground with blood coming on his face, I had tears in my eyes. It's been one week since the assassination attempt on the former president. While his arrival brought a crowd full of supporters, heightened security measures are now in place around his Palm Beach home. Where Southern Boulevard ends at Mar-a-Lago, South Ocean Boulevard is closed from the traffic circle to the northern edge of the club property. It'll stay that way until the election. A retired Secret Service agent tells us the agent will ramp up security in the area after what happened last weekend. We're going to see in Palm Beach, you know, County, the same kinds of things we saw when he was, in fact, a sitting president. Because we learned on Saturday that whatever it was we were doing did not work. And my hope and prayer is that, you know, the, the Secret Service gets it right. Despite the political climate and several threats made against Trump over the last week, this crowd didn't stay away. Anytime when he's coming down to West Palm Beach, we're here. That's why we're here, because we don't want fear to get in our way. We definitely saw that sense of pride and support as Trump drove by in that motorcade. Now, his next stop on the campaign will be in Charlotte, North Carolina, another battleground state on Wednesday. In West Palm Beach, Cassandra Garcia, WPTV.